All right, get ready for a rant. I can't tell if the pallet wood craze is dying down or picking up steam. If you've done anything in carpentry and woodworking over the last few years, you've undoubtedly run into hundreds of videos, articles, blog posts about how pallets make for great reclaimed wood for projects. I don't want to be a downer, but these things are garbage. I'd say they're only good for shipping things on and burning. But the truth is you probably don't want to burn them either for reasons that I'm going to discuss in a minute here. But if you're looking for cheap, possibly free lumber, there's a source that's infinitely better than pallets. It's referred to as coal wood and everybody has access to it. So let's do a quick comparison of these two lumber sources, pallet wood versus coal wood. And that's coming up next on The Honest Carpenter Show. Let's start with a real quick rundown of why I think pallets are bad. Yes, you can often get them for free or just for a very cheap price. Millions of them are produced every year and they basically cycle around until they're too busted to use. But the reason pallets are so cheap is that they're low grade wood. The vast majority of them are either pine or oak and those are woods that we frequently use for projects. But pallets represent the lowest caliber of those types of wood. See, they're often shaggy, they're full of knots, and the end grain is very prone to splitting. Plus, they've already gone through the construction process once, so they're full of spiral or ring shank nails, which tend to be very hard to pry out. Yes, you can saws all them apart, but they're still full of nail fragments, which, if you don't take out every little piece, can damage your saw blades when you're cutting into them and possibly harm you. Not to mention your boards are only three to four feet long, and pallet planks are thinner than your average three quarter or one inch lumber. They tend to only be a half inch or five eighths of an inch thick. So you start with something subpar that's not even really ready to build with. Then you have to take it apart, clean it, and work around the limitations of those dimensions. On top of that, many pallets contain harmful chemicals. Some pallets in circulation are treated with methyl bromide, an insecticide that's toxic to humans. Plus, lots of pallets get used to ship chemicals, which occasionally bust and spill on those pallets, further contaminating them. Whenever you get a pallet to work with, you can never be too sure what's really in it. So let me present you with a better option. Call wood. Call wood is just wood that has been pulled off the shelves in lumber yards because it isn't quite up to saleable standards. Sometimes it's bowed and warped, sometimes it's chipped or damaged, and other times it's just being moved out to make room for other goods. Lumber yards and big box stores are constantly picking through their materials to wean this stuff out and clear out their shelves. That's what call means, to glean or pick out. But they don't trash it right away. Instead, they'll typically mark it with some spray paint then set it aside on a cart where it's still available for purchase, but at a drastically reduced price. They typically mark it down as much as 70%. Sometimes smaller lumber yards will even give the stuff away just to get it out the door. So the reason call wood is so superior to pallet wood is because it's the same products and the same dimensions that you typically just buy off the shelves. We're talking about real lumber here and a huge variety of it. On any given day in a call wood pile, you might find treated lumber, kiln dried framing lumber, sheet goods, trim, siding, and much more. Just look at this call wood cart at my local Home Depot. There's treated fencing lumber in here, composite corner boards, treated framing lumber, and clear pine trim boards, which tend to be really pricey. But then when I come back a week later, the stock is completely different. I've got 16 foot two by tens, 16 foot deck boards, appearance grade treated one by sixes, more clear pine boards, pieces of two by two, and even shiplap trim and tongue and groove bead board. Outside of Lowe's, I find a variety of sheet goods. They've got quarter inch masonite and five eighths pine ply, not to mention a ton of vinyl siding finish trim and undersill and an abandoned bifold closet door. Yeah, some of the stuff is a little banged up, but it's easier to work around these defects than it is to work around the defects in pallet wood. And some of the stuff is perfectly fine. If you only need pieces under say seven foot for a particular project, you're gonna be able to cut that out of the majority of these boards. And the great thing is this stock is constantly changing because stores are constantly calling out more material. Not to mention that none of this stuff has nails in it and it hasn't had anything spilled on it. Every lumber yard does this to some degree, but it's kind of weird because every store will sort of have their own unique way of doing it. Some places will only let you buy this stuff in bulk. Other places will let you buy individual boards and sheets. You just need to get to know the lumber yards in your area. It's good to show up at these places often and get friendly with the staff. Let them know what you're looking for over time. In the past, I've had buddies at lumber yards call me up and say, hey, we got a bunch of cast off door casings. You want to come grab them? Or they'll say we had two base cabinets get returned in an order. I'll give them to you for 20 bucks. They get it off their hands and I get a couple good cheap cabinets for say like a rolling table saw stand. 
It's a win-win. And a lot of people are going to say, but reclaiming pallets is good for the environment because it keeps this stuff out of the landfill. But the exact same thing can be said for coal wood. The next stop for that stuff is the dumpster. Take advantage of this unused inventory. You can build a lumber collection over time at a fraction of the cost. And I think you should avoid pallets because they really only have one good stated purpose, shipping things on them. But if you insist on using them, at least avoid ones marked with an MB symbol or an EUR symbol. They've been fumigated. Also remember that even heat treated pallets with the HT marking are not treated wood. Pallets are treated with heat or chemicals to kill pests and bugs inside of them, but they're not treated with fungicide. So don't use them outside and expect them not to rot. Eventually they will. Anyways, that's my rant on the subject. What do you think about it? Do you like pallets for that shabby chic look they give to a piece of furniture? Have you used them effectively in the past? Or like me, do you prefer to pick out good coal wood gems at your local lumber yard? Let me hear about it down in the comments. Also, I have a lot more t-shirts available for sale these days. They're available right down there below the video. So scroll down there and check them out or click the link for my Teespring storefront down in the description. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to check back in for more videos coming out soon and please consider subscribing and hitting that little bell button beside the subscribe button to turn on notifications. That way you'll know the moment we post something. I'm Ethan James with TheHonestCarpenter.com. I'll see you next time.